let's start about our, the next topic about neurophysiology uh, in the last uh, three video I discuss about the special sensory system special sensory system we were on the vision physiology we will continue this lecture with this topic vision physiology In the vision physiology, we already done with the layers of eye done, layers of eyeball. We also done with the ecosymmer and how light enter was a uh, what the main principle of image formation as a refraction also done. So in today video, we our main purpose, our main focus will be on our main focus. On neural pathway. Neural pathway. Before we go into neural pathway, we first uh, discuss a bit different category, different part of the retina. So eyeball. In the front is a very cornea. Both eyeball here. Cornea. In this video, uh, my main concern with neural pathway. Okay, neural pathway. The, the retina structure I will talk about later. This is a clara. This is a clara here. I just need to draw here retina. It's a cup shaped retina here. Cup shaped retina here. This retina, if I draw with two different colors, it's a green color and yellow color. It's a green color. In yellow color here is a green color here. This side is better. This retina. If I draw here one picture here, any object here, for example, or oh, here we having a glass in front of eye. Here we have another glass in front of eye. This glass present in center. Sometime object present a bit, a bit little side. In center we having nose. If any object more close to nose or oh, is a visual field, we divide this visual field, eyeball have one, this visual field, this eyeball have one, this visual field. It's a complete field here. This complete field, this field, this side is a side of the head, is a temporal bone here. So this field is a little side here, you can see more clearly. This eye feel, eye, eye feel of this, this eyeball having this feel. This feel more close to nose is a nasal feel. And this feel a bit far from the nose is a little side having temporal bone here. Temporal bone here uh, is a temporal feel. It's a temporal, temporal feel. Now retina, we also divide retina to temporal retina. The temporal side is a temporal retina. So nasal retina on nasal side. It's a nasal retina. And from nasal retina, now this retina is connected to uh, is nerve. It's come from actually come from nerve. This retina is also come from is connected to nerve. Now it's an optic nerve. It's a optic nerve this nerve is now is a full structure here i draw here this full structure it's a optic nerve this optic nerve connected to retina at the fiber this fiber here the green color the optic nerve having fiber this optic nerve crossing here when going back to the brain optic nerve cross and the fiber, you can see here yellow retina, here nasal retina, nasal retina. Now the fiber present in this nerve, the full is optic nerve. This full is optic nerve. This full structure is optic nerve. Optic nerve fiber. 
optic nerve fiber the fiber fill inside the nerve we're also going back the fibers here the yellow color fiber they going this side and this side fiber they going this way now they going this way this means the nasal retina nasal retina these are the nasal fibers present in optic nerve nasal fibers present in optic nerve is optic nerve nasal fiber is a temporal fiber temporal fiber you can see here temporal fiber not doing any type of crossing only nasal fiber they doing the crossing nasal fiber moving this way to this way or oh. they're doing the crossing here nasal fiber not doing crossing and but temporal fiber they're doing the crossing center you can see here now if we go back this so optic this is optic track this structure known as optic track now here the crossing here this is the crossing this optic nerve this structure form in center due to the both side of optic nerve the crossing with each other but not complete optic nerve cross this central point of the crossing is the chiasm this structure known as optic chiasm optic chiasm the central structure in optic chiasm the main fiber here you can see is a nasal fiber is that just nasal fiber optic nerve next level after optic nerve is optic chiasm after that we having optic track optic optic track in the optic track we having two fibers here in optic track the fiber the green color fiber is temporal fiber and a yellow color fiber is a nasal fiber nasal fiber and temporal fiber nasal fiber and temporal fiber if this side of eyeball is just for example it's a right side it's a left eyeball left eyeball and it's a right eyeball you can see here the focus here is a right side is a right side nasal fiber now in right optic nerve and then crossing or uh, enter to this side track is this optic track is on left optic track so left optic track this side optic track right optic track, so right side optic track left optic track having what thing left optic track having fiber focus it having fiber follow this having fiber i, I use red color here having fibers these fibers are nasal fibers nasal fiber the crossing so this left optic track this left optic track having fiber here which fiber composed of two type fiber nasal fiber of is a left optic track nasal fiber of right eye a right side eye nasal fiber of right eye this clear okay next thing right optic track you can see here right optic track having nasal fiber of left eye nasal fiber of left eye so these fiber because the crossing these fiber the crossing the right eye going to left track left eye going to right track the right optic track now next we will nasal fiber next we will temporal fiber these green color fiber they come from temporal retina these are the temporal fibers temporal retina temporal fiber temporal retina temporal fiber this temporal fiber you can see they are not crossing so they go they going on ipsilateral side it's mean same side temporal fiber of left eye 
sorry 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 here's problem here it's a right track temporal fiber of right right track right temporal fiber temporal fiber of is left track left eye temporal fiber of left eye <coughs> so after that you can see this temporal fiber till head clear okay optic track nasal fiber of left eye you can see here it's a left eye but the track is right so the nasal fiber going on opposite side nasal fibers nasal fiber going on opposite side they're going to contralateral side contralateral side but the temporal fibers remain ipsilateral remain on same side ipsilateral ipsilateral meaning same side of body right eye right side right eye is the right side left eye is the left side like this temporal fiber ipsilateral nasal fiber contralateral temporal fiber ipsilateral nasal fiber contralateral so this is optic track now this optic track after crossing this optic track track going to geniculate body track going to geniculate body this geniculate body present in thalamus the geniculate body present in thalamus after this the geniculate body is a geniculate body it's a geniculate body but each track track change to variation one two three four the four radiation thing this side again one two three four the four radiations here. four these, these this track this fibers known as optic radiation left level of the tag is optic radiation this optic radiation they going to optic radiation now going to brain occipital brain going to brain for the if the brain is the frontal part of brain is the is the frontal part of brain is the occipital part of brain this part occipital part of frontal brain occipital brain so opposite now this opposite now these radiation going to radiation enter to occipital cortex and occipital cortex is your visual cortex for vision visual visual cortex the visual cortex present over occipital 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 lobe occipital lobe of brain it's a visual cortex it's a visual cortex is a level here first try to understand full neural pathway here start from retina the retina having two type two, two classification retina temporal retina and nasal retina from temporal retina temporal fiber going out from nasal retina nasal fiber going out from temporal retina temporal fiber from nasal retina nasal fiber now what happened here the temporal retina and temporal fiber from nasal retina and nasal fiber uh, what happened next and these nasal fiber nasal fiber they cross to opposite side you can see here they crossing opposite side this side fiber crossing going this way the crossing here we having crossing of nasal fiber the crossing and this this structure is formed is known as optic chiasm it's known as optic chiasm the anatomical structure we have a relation with the optic chiasm inside the brain we having pituitary gland which gland pituitary gland so if we have disease 
present inside the pituitary. If something wrong with the pituitary mass in pituitary dam injury to pituitary, it can affect tempo this fiber nasal fiber first because nasal fiber uh, have a relation with the optic or to form the optic gap. Pituitary have a relation with optic gap. So nasal fiber damage first. Nasal fiber damage first. So it's all about the about the track here. All about the track here. Okay, now moving on again to front side. This field now focus here. This field temporal field. This field nasal field. This field what? Nasal field and this field temporal field. This side field nasal field. This side field visual field is known as temporal field now two field there the nasal field i draw with different color okay this is temporal field i drawing with red color this one only black temporal field i draw with red color remaining is black the temporal field if you focus on which retina temporal field is going to nasal retina you can see here temporal field going to nasal retina what's the meaning of this anything present like any object not in front of you a bit side a bit little side on you for example any object here if i place if i erase this glass from here i put in here the i put in here this glass oh it's, it's, it's me this glass now present on temporal side of the field the temporal field this glass i can see for which retina i am using now nasal retina the light rays always crossing the light rays always cross to make the image so if any object for example here is a glass here here i draw another structure here or oh, a small small cup like yeah small cup like structure small cup like structure here oh it's a small cup it's a small cup i put in here glass here Oh, glass present you can see central is the nose glass present on if i draw to make it symmetrical picture here here we have a glass here you can see this glass present on which field temporal field but the fiber the which then this which picture this image is going to which retina nasal retina glass going to nasal retina and this glass Present so this glass present in front of the left eye. This glass in front of right eye. So this side, this side glass. You can see here. I can see this side. So which brain is the glass? I can see from right side of the eye. This glass is seen by my left brain, and the left side of glass. This side. This this is glass. I can see from right. Brain. Why this happen? Because the, the this image this image focus on nasal retina and nasal retina fiber they are crossing to opposite side. When they crossing to opposite side, now you can see here when they crossing to opposite side, they going to opposite brain. Now the, the glass image you can see here. Okay, I I, I change the direct, I change the color of the glass. I draw a blue color. This glass I draw with different color. Okay, it's a green color. Okay, just imagine it's a green color. It's a green color. It's a green color. Now you can this blue color glass present on in front of right eye, but now it's going to this blue color glass. You can see it's a left side of the which brain this one. This brain present or it's a left side brain and it's a right side brain now you can see this blue color glass this image is formed by this image is seen by this and the green color glass the image is formed here image is formed on this side the green color glass is coming by this fiber and the blue color glass is coming by this fiber because here you can see the picture here that these images these images now they crossing these images now they crossing to opposite side these images now they crossing to opposite side and this side glass image now going to optic cap and this side glass image going to 
of the car now easily can see this glass image now going to opposite side of brain okay and this glass image also going to opposite side of the brain clear okay now move on the cup the anything present in exactly in front of you in like the straight line from your nose very close to the nose straight line these images the mostly seen by same side of brain mostly seen by same side of brain clear the why they seen by same side of brain because that these type of fibers now this image is cup shadow now going to is on right side or uh, is on is uh, right eye okay this is a right side cup and this present on left side uh, is a left side cup and this image this image you can see uh, is a focus on temporal retina and this image focus on temporal retina so after focusing you can see this side cup okay okay for to understanding i just change the color of this cup uh, it's a red cup on right side and black cup on left side so red cup is coming to the brain by these fibers you can see same side cup is coming to same side brain the same side cup is coming to same side brain also same side it means the same side it means it's a same side cup clear and but the hair what happens so black cup the same side here present in front of front of left was the left side of brain or oh, it's a it's a black cup this side so it mean the cup image this cup present on nose left side so this image coming to left side of brain so what you understand from this phenomena so this temporal fiber they're not crossing temporal fiber of you can see here this track is lit left optic track so left optic track temporal fiber also left eye temporal fiber so it's mean no crossing and they're directly now going to left side of brain is the brain so occipital law is the brain they're going to same side it's mean the same side it's mean they're going to same side so if any person literally explain in next video about the legend just have general idea here if the person have injury here different picture if this optic nerve damage have different image if the and damage to optic yards different clinical presentation here if we damage to optic track a different clinical presentation if we damage to radiation there are three or four level of injury there you can see clear cut first level optic nerve damage optic yards damage optic track damage and optic radiation damage the four categories are all about my to the lecture about the uh, now about this full neural track this full neural